Hi, in this video we're going to show you a free tool you could use to play multiple videos side by side. So let's say you want to compare a couple videos and have them running at the same time so you could see the differences or to see if they're in sync or that type of thing. You could use this program to do so because normally if you were to use something like Windows Media Player, you double click a video file and it would open and play. And then if you double clicked another one, then it would close that video and open the new one. But this will let you do multiple videos at the same time. So the tool is called Grid Player. So there's a standalone version and an installable version. So I'm running in the standalone version. So you just download the zip file, extract it, and run the executable. And then you'll have your main window here where you could drag and drop media files and even URLs. So if you wanted to do a URL first, you could right click, add URL, paste it in. Okay, so that's playing. And now what I could do too, is I have some other videos. I could drag this in here too, and it'll put it side by side. And if I want to do another one, drag it in there. And once again, like so. And now you could compare them. And if you were to right click, you could pause, enter single mode, which will just play the one video full screen and then you can exit back out into your multi-video mode. Then you have some audio settings here, volume, muting it, and so on. Video settings here, zooming in and out, aspect ratio, cropping, transforming. If you want to flip a video, you could do that. So let's say we want to rotate this one. Now it's playing upside down. Uh, playback. If you want to do some sync options, jumping to, if you want to jump ahead, for example, a certain percentage or a certain amount of seconds, uh, looping, uh, increase or decrease the speed, change the stream quality, rename, reload, close that video, uh, apply settings to all the videos at once. You have your seek sync, you have your grid settings. If you want to change it to something like columns first, which is not going to do much for four videos, but let's say we uh, got rid of this one. And you can see you could change your grid settings like so, shuffle and so on. Snapshots, playlist settings. Uh, if you want to add another file or URL, open a playlist. You could save this playlist with these particular videos. And when you close the program, it's going to ask you if you want to save the playlist as well. Then we have some settings here. Player, language settings, playlist settings video settings, miscellaneous settings, logging in advanced, uh, about, full screen, and minimize, and then quit. So you can see it's a pretty cool little tool if you want to play some videos side by side. And then of course you could pause one as you click on it, uh, play with the volume, and so on. All right, so I will put a link in the description for a grid player, and then you could download it and check it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Thank mm -hmm. you.